right, so we're gonna go through this together. How to go ahead and hack all of the hacks here over in Act 3 when you get to this place in the mountains. So this is what we're looking at here. A beam of light in which we have to basically bounce off of other things. Okay, so you see that little thing that I just destroyed? I don't know what it's called. A noid? We'll call it a noid. So we gotta destroy the noids. All right? And then we're gonna do that to here. Take this laser beam, zap that sucker. So the better you are and more familiar at doing these hacks, of course, the quicker you're going to be able to get them done. Bam! Got you, sucker. Now we have to be, like, smart and use our brains here on how exactly this is going down. Oh, it's a little bit tricky. Hold on, we're going this way first, I think. We'll get that noid down there in a second. Oh, there you go. Got that, sucker. You can burn right through those. You burn right through them because it's a laser beam, right? Now we're going up to this one and then you can change the trajectory right there. You're not going to be able to get that angle, but I'm trying to get the other angle like right, right there. Down. It's weird like how it does this. Like I'm just like it automatically, like it's automatically like moving on me here. Like it's pretty, that's pretty annoying, bro. Yeah, look at that. So I just zap it just like that. Well, we got it, whatever. Can't really get down there to that one. So we just do this, maybe. Get get that. Excellent. Bam, melt you. Go back over to this one. Oh, didn't get it all the way. Yeah, it can be a bit stressful, too, because if you think about it, like right now, we have people that are defending us from dying, from getting shot. It's like trying to get in there and zap that sucker. Uh, I think we're going to have to just go... Yeah, there you go. So you can like zap it a little bit. You see what I'm doing here? I was like trying to go back and forth and hit it, even though that's probably not you, what you want to be doing. Some of these angles can be a little bit messed up. So just go like over to that one right there. See the angling right here? It like automatically moves the beam. It's like automatically pushing it either one way or the other. It's pretty annoying, honestly. You have to like move this to like over here. There you go. Do you see what I'm talking about? How it like kind of like, if that's, that's like not me. It's just like doing that. So like what I said before, the more familiar that we get with these and we know exactly how to get to the noids, and destroy them as fast as possible is going to determine on how fast that we're going to be able to get through the actual well this part of the heist itself All right, get you like right down there if that does that one see that one doesn't want to like do that dude Uh, yeah, you have a timer on this as well. So if you guys notice that there is an actual timer that I have to be able to get this done. And if you do not get it within the time frame, then you're going to end up failing. So like right here, you see, you see what I'm doing there? I don't know if this is what you have to do, but this is what I was doing to try to get that one down there. Because there's still like another one right down there in the corner. But I was really trying to get this one because it was, oh, we got it. With the beam of light going back and forth like Superman eyeballs or something and now there's that last one right here right so you have to like figure this out too like what i said dude i'm not a very good hacker which is why i'm a gunner and then right there we ran out of time now if you run out of time you got to go back but just to let you know too yeah so it's going to be like a different one each time here okay we we'll get that one go through there burn that one all right, now we got this little cross beam thing right there, which we got to go like right there. Burn that. Got it. Some are easier than others, folks, as you can see, like right here. I mean, a lot of times it's pretty, it's pretty obvious, like what we need to do here for some of them. Okay, we just like do that, burn that one. We just have to let it do that right there. Look, see, it's just going to go around, burn it, burned it, burned it. See what I'm saying? 
So it's gonna just be like that. We're gonna go over the rest of them too. So there's three other hacks that we're doing here. Just to get you familiar with what exactly we have to do here. So once again, the hacks are gonna be random. And if you fail, it'll be a different hack. It's not gonna be the same one. Just gotta run and gun our way through here. So not doing the best on time, but the reason why we made this video is so we can just go slow. So one by one, I can explain exactly what needs to happen. Now we were unfortunate on that very first hack because that first hack was a bit annoying. Just like that second hack, that second hack got done in like 30 seconds or something like that. We were able to get that one done very quickly here. So another thing too, you guys gonna watch out for all the bad guys coming in. So hopefully you got yourself a good gunner because this is my friend's POV right now. I told him to record like doing the hacking and I'll just like use it as a video and I can explain how to hack because once again, me personally, I'm not the best hacker. I got horrible vision, but what I am good at, you can see me there, I'm a good gunner. That's what I'm trained at. I killed me a lot of NPCs. Matter of fact, I killed me so many NPCs they stopped giving me RP. Yeah, that's a thing. All right, let's get this second one to real quick. Here we go. Okay. Oh, it's this one again. Ah, this one's annoying. All right, watch this. All right, bam, got that. Now let's do this. We'll shift that over here. Take that one, burn through here. Then we have to like move this, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go here. Yeah, here. And then, and then here round. There you go. You gotta be big brain. You gotta big brain it. Then we'll do this. Beam that down over here. Beam that up to here. Laser. Bur burning through stuff. Uh, well, yep, burn that through there. Oh, hold on. We're gonna change this angle here. That one's already melting. There you go. Bam. Got that one. Then we'll get that one. Got that one. All right. Burn that one down there. See, this was the very first one that I had before. Then we're going to get that one. So we're going to like try to... Hold on now. Change this a little bit. There you go. There we go. Got it. Hold on. Oh, wait. Change that a little bit. And, ah. Uh, hold on. So you gotta be really smart with this one. This one right here was, was the more difficult one, I would say, because, because there's a lot of noids to get to. The noids are annoying. Oh, hold on. We almost had the angle just perfect there. See, that's all that it really is, is just angling things correctly. And we're trying to do this too. I don't think that this was right. What he was doing, what he was doing. Okay. Yeah. So I think apparently you might be able to burn through that red stuff there too. I don't know. We'll get that one though. We'll work on this. That one down. That's pissing me off down there is what's going on. Bam. Look at that. Got it done. Now let's shift the beam of light. This has to be it right here, right? Angled. Angle it. Damn it. Well, good thing I'm showing you this. So when you go in and do this, and this particular you get this particular hack, you should have more of an idea of what's going on. Once again, this is my friend's gameplay, but I'm just doing uh, commentary over it just to like, you know. So, oh, there you go. Yeah, you can burn right. Oh, you burn right through that stuff. Look at that. There we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. And that's how that one's done. There you go. Now we got two more to go through real quick because we're not done yet. We want to familiarize ourselves. We want to know exactly what these hacks are and what do we have to exactly do to burn the noids. That's what we're showing you right now. Just being nice and slow, methodical. Let's get to the next one here. Hack number three. Once again, same type of hack, but this one's going to be a little bit different. Check this one out. Yeah, those little noids right there. Burn that. Let's position this. All 
Burn through that, then burn through that one. And then burn through that one. Ooh, three in a row. Look at that. Oh, now we gotta now we gotta do this. So there's no way to really practice this besides going into act three. So the next best thing is just watching this video and look at what uh, look at what we're doing here. Yeah, you gotta burn the noise, you gotta think about it, think about angles. And then once you've done these before, you'll get more familiar with them. So you know exactly what angles and what uh, what moves you have to do here. So you can be even faster. Because I think, um, you know, in my opinion, a good a good hacker that can get through this stuff should be getting paid like maybe 5% more than anybody else. Like me being a gunner, 15% as a gunner. I would say like, you know, 20, definitely 20, 25% for the hacker. Because it's more annoying than anything, as you can see. So we got to angle this up in there. So we got to angle this to the here, and then it's got to bounce off of there, and then go up, the, and then go up in there, just like this. Right there, there we go. That's what I was talking about. Bam! Burnt that one. Now we got to get this one over here. So there's like two left, right, right here. We got like a beam down there that we can corner it off of. And then there's this one up here. This is why this hack right here would probably be considered like the more difficult of the hacking here in Grand Theft Auto Online. There's a lot of hacks in the game, but like by far, this is probably the most annoying. The beam angling. Yeah, so it pays to have a good hacker too, especially if you're going after something like the Elite Challenge here. Yeah, well, we're going to be making a lot of help videos here on the Act 3 because that's what's going on this week. I definitely wanted to make a specific video just talking about the hacking itself because I felt that this is very relevant and an important video to those that have never done hacking. And just by watching this video, you can see like the mistakes that my friend's making here just trying to figure this out. We'll give you a better idea on how exactly we're going to be doing this. There we go. A little bit of progress here, maybe. So that one's on a timer right there. So, bam. One more go around. Yeah, and you got that clock up there. Very pressured to be in the hacker. Because once again, you got to think about it. The whole time that you're in here hacking, you have people that are getting shot at nonstop. I can imagine the background is going to be like potentially you hearing shooting going on and or your teammates saying hurry the fuck up. So it can be very stressful being the hacker, which is why me personally, I'm not the best at doing this. There it is right there. Another success. All right, guys, now we have one more hack to get through here. So you can see that some of the hacks can be actually challenging while other hacks can be pretty fast. So we're about to get the fourth one done real quick. So if you guys ended up enjoying this video and it was helpful in any way on like trying to understand how to hack here over an act three, which is potentially one of the more dreaded and challenging hacks here in Grand Theft Auto Online. You guys make sure you got to hit that like button, subscribe, of course, if you are new, so you do not miss out on daily Grand Theft Auto 5 uploads. While we're finishing it up over here, people, until we get to Grand Theft Auto 6. Now let's get this last hack in. Yeah, I might want to go thinking about checking out some more videos too. All right, so here we go. Let's get this one, buddy. We got an angle here. We got to angle this, angle that. Oh, wrong angle. What are we doing here? Really angle that. 
Oh, straight shot. Straight shot across. Got that one already up down there. All right. We got to angle, angle this. Burn that one. Yeah. Hold on. Let's move this. We got like some sort of angle, angle down here that we're supposed to. Yeah, there it is. Now we move this one right there. Then we move that one right there. Bam. Yeah, so I really hope that this video helps you understanding if your job is ever the hacker, you don't feel too pressured. And just by watching this video, you have a better understanding of what the actual hacker is doing in here, working with this beam of light, trying to burn these noids here in the game, which uh, once again, yeah. Get that last one. Bam, there it is. So you can see that some of the hacks are a little bit more difficult, but once you have a good understanding of them, then you'll be able to be a really good hacker yourself here in the game. So once again, hope the video was helpful and you guys are all doing good, having an awesome rest of the day out there. My name is Gravesite. I'll see you in the next one. So peace.